In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create split screens inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm going to give you three different examples. But before we do, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Motion Elements. More about them later on. So when you're inside of Adobe Premiere, the first thing that you want to do is to actually find all of your clips and drag them in. So let's start with a very simple four split screen. So I'm just going to make a few copies of this. Let's just pretend this is all different footage. Now, let's say your sequence is 4K and you're working with 4K video footage. That's really great. But let's say you're working in a 4K sequence and you've got 1080 footage, 720 footage, 4K footage. It's going to get really confusing trying to do the split screen because none of the numbers are ever going to match. So my first tip when doing split screens is to actually nest individual clips so that they are the same size as the composition you are working in. So my first step is to do a little bit of housework. Make sure everything is filling the screen like it's supposed to and then just go through and nest everything. Now you can rename these if you wanted to and I would definitely recommend it. So I'm just working through each clip and just nesting them into their own sequence. So it's one clip per nested sequence. And now they're all matching, they're all the exact same size. This means we can copy and paste motion effects from one clip onto another and they will 100% match every single time. And this is gonna save us a lot of headaches later on. So now that we've done that housekeeping, we want to actually create the split screens. So let's just drag these on top of each other like this. And let's just start with the clip on number one. So because we're going to do four, we are going to pull the scale down to 50. So this is half the size. Now we are just going to go to position and we're just going to drag this over to the left. Now, if you wanted to turn off the others to help you with this, that's totally fine. But drag this over to the left until it starts to eat into the side. And then we'll just drag this up until we get to that same point. Now we can copy the motion effect on that layer, turn on layer three, and then we'll just paste that on. So you could just go command or control V to do that. And then we're just gonna move the position of this over to the right like this. And you want to try and get just a little bit of a line there. Now you want to copy motion from video layer three. We'll go to video layer two and we'll paste that on. And now we can just drag this down. And you want to try and get this line here to match the same width as this line up here. And if you wanted to zoom all the way into 800, you can really get very specific here. And I feel like that matches now. So the last thing to do is just to copy motion from layer two. I will turn on layer one and we'll just paste that on there. And then same thing again, we're just going to drag this over to the left. And because we're already zoomed in, we can see where the end is so we can get really specific here and make sure that is perfect and that to me if i zoom in even further 1600 that to me looks pretty perfect they're all the same length the same width and that is great so if we zoom out to fit you can see we've created our four split screen now if you wanted to add some animation onto this for example then you could go into individual layers and you can get them to animate in so you could do that. So if I go, if I go to the five second mark and I create a brand new keyframe on the position on every single layer. Now, if I scrub through to the beginning, I start on video layer one, which is bottom left. I can just pull this down to the left like this. Then if I go to video layer two, which is this layer just here, I'm going to pull this down. Then video layer three, I'm just going to pull to the right. And then video layer four, I'm just going to drag up until it disappears. And now when we play this back, you can see they'll all animate on in time and land in that split screen. Now they're all very slow at the moment, but that is completely fine because if we wanted to speed it up, all we would need to do is just zoom into one of them. Drag the cursor to where you want that to finish and we'll just move the keyframe. Now without moving around in time, so don't go forwards or backwards or do any of this. We want to go onto three, drag the second keyframe to the cursor. Then we'll do the same on two. So go onto two, drag the keyframe to the cursor. And then the same on one, drag the keyframe to the cursor. Now, if you wanted to as well, we could convert the keyframes to easy ease keyframes. So we go to the first keyframe, temporal, ease out. Second keyframe, temporal, ease in. And if we pay close attention to number one, which is this one, you'll notice the difference in animation. See, it's a lot softer. Rather than 
aggressively starting and stopping, it's easing in and out of that movement. So if you like the look of that, then you can just go through all of the layers and just apply that effect. Now, when we take this back to the very beginning, you can see we've got ourselves a really nice split screen animation. And of course, there's nothing stopping you just going ahead and adding more animation later on down the line. But that is our first split screen effect now complete. Before we carry on with this video, I first just want to take a very quick moment to talk about Motion Elements. Motion Elements is an online marketplace where you can download video files, stock footage, audio files, Premiere Pro templates, After Effects templates, Notion files, so much more. It's a really great platform for all of your creative needs. And because they are a sponsor of this channel, if you use this code, then you will receive a really nice big discount on your first month subscription. Now, back to the video. The second one is going to be a little bit more simple, and this will just require two videos. And there's multiple different ways that you can do this effect. You could rotate and then use the full length of the video, or alternatively, you could crop. So that is the effect that I'm going to go for. So on effects, I'm just going to search for crop, drop that on to video layer two, and we're just going to pull the left to 25 and the right to 25. So 25 and 25 makes 50, 50 is half of 100, simple math. But then we can just move this over to the left and we're going to do the same thing on this layer, on the bottom layer. So you could, if you wanted to, just copy the crop from video layer two and put it onto video layer one and then we'll just drag the position over to the right. Now you'll see in this example, because there's black in this video and there's a black video underneath, it's very difficult to see how thick that line is. So if we go into the settings icon, and go into transparency grid, you can now make that a lot easier for yourself. So we can do this and you can clearly see when we zoom in, this is a transparency grid behind the layer. So once you're happy with that, you can just turn off the transparency grid and this is our two split screen effect. Now, of course, because we've put everything into a nested sequence, if something doesn't line up right, so the framing feels a little bit off here, you can just jump into that layer and then you can just basically go through and move everything closer into the center of the frame. Because we've taken 25% off the left and 25% off the right, or flipped the other way for you, it means everything needs to be very centered. So if, for example, this clip here fills off, then all we need to do is just nudge that to the center. And it means that when you go back into the split screen layer, that should now be in the center. So we've got a four split screen, we've got a two split screen, the last thing that I want to show you is a nine split screen. And to be honest, the nine is actually very simple. It's just a little bit time consuming. So we have our first video clip and in order to get nine, we want to do three, three, three. So the best thing to do is to divide hundred by three. The closest number we're going to get is 33. So we're just going to pull the scale down to 33 and we're just going to move this layer over to the left, drag this up to the right make sure that he's sitting on the edge nice and comfortably. And then you want to go onto your other video clip. I'm just using one video for ease, but this will be different clips in your example. And then you can just reset the parameter to center it back into the very center. And then we want to copy the vertical number here and paste that onto this layer. So now that's bang on vertical and exactly where it needs to be. So we can do the same thing for the next layer. We are just going to copy move this over to the very left. And then same thing again, we're just going to paste on the vertical number so that is now lined up. But as you can see, the line here is thinner than this line. So I'm just going to make an adjustment and I'm pretty happy with that. So as you can see, we've got three video clips already. This is the first part of our split screen effect happening. Now I would just go through the same process. So I would add on number four, center this up. That one is exactly where it needs to be. Then I would add in number five, drag number five over to the left. And rather than eyeballing this, you can just figure out what this one was. So this is number one. We can copy the horizontal number. So this is 635 in my example, and we'll paste this onto here. So now that's copied the exact same number there. And we can do the exact same thing for the next layer. So we're just going to reset, drag it over to the right a little bit, and then we're gonna figure out what this was. So I believe this was three. So we're going to copy that horizontal axis on three and paste that on to six, but ignore the vertical axis because we want that to be 1080 still. And as you can see, we've now got our six boxes and I think that looks pretty good so far. So same thing again, we're just going to keep repeating the process over and over again. We're going to add in number seven, 
reset the parameters to the very center and then drag down. And then you want to make sure that that line is the same as the other lines, which is around there. Then we'll add in number eight. Again, reset the parameters. Then we can copy the layer below. So copy the position. Then we're just going to move over to the left and we're going to copy the parameters from this, which I believe is four or five. So we're going to copy number five. We're going to copy the horizontal axis, not the vertical axis. So again, six, three, five. As you can see, this is really simple stuff. It's just a case of matching up all the numbers on the different axes, and it can be a really awkward job to do. So this is why it's really important that we've done these nested sequence because everything is the same size. If I had a 1080 video and a 4K video and I was copying the numbers across, nothing would line up perfectly. So it's really important that we've done this step in order to make this a bit easier for ourselves now. So we're just going to do the final ninth square or the rectangle or the video, should I say. And in order to do that, we're just going to reset the parameters one more time. I'm just going to copy from the layer below. Then I'm just going to drag that all the way to the right and then I'll figure out what number this one was, which I believe should be six. It is six. So I'll copy the horizontal axis, which is three, two, oh, six. Paste that on. And there we go. We have our split screen now enabled. Now, because all of these videos are on different layers, if you wanted to animate them on, then you could just do a nice staircase animation. So when I say staircase animation, I just mean trim everything back to one point. Then we go to the first frame, move over two frames to the right, make a cut, two frames to the right, make a cut, two frames to the right, make a cut, and just keep repeating this process all the way up. You can see where I say staircase now because we're going up and up and up like a staircase. Then we'll delete the start off all of those. And now when we play this back, you can see they all animate on like that. And I think that looks really cool. So in this video, I've showed you how to set up the split screen animation. I've showed you how to animate on this four. I've showed you how to do this nice two split screen. And I've also showed you how to flicker on a nine piece split screen. So those are three different variations of the split screen animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next one. See you there.